Well, Mickey, uh, is you on the feet there must be a skipper to step down and say Well, we, yeah, there is. Obviously, we, we don't want to um, deny that, but we, we, we do try and keep things consistent. And we, we never try and get too carried away. Of course, it's always nice to win and um, be in the training pitch with, with a winning team. But we don't really get too carried away. We, we know there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, but it's certainly, yeah, it's nice to, to get a victory, but it was still a lot to do. But you've put the build-up lock to now to really get some momentum going now for the next few games, especially being a home to the next few games. Yeah, we hope so. We hope so. It gives us a good, great opportunity to uh, put some more points on the board, but we obviously know, we, we say that with caution, because um, there's, there's hard work that needs to be done. We know that. We know how difficult the challenges are in this league. So we need to be prepared properly and... and uh, attack both games and try and pick up some points. You talk about the challenges of this league. At this stage last year there were a, a couple of teams who pulled away at the top of the table already. It hasn't happened this year. Do you think the league is as strong this year as it was 12 months ago? I don't know, I wasn't here 12 months ago so I've got to be honest, I don't what know. Last season? Um, I don't know, it's still very early days. Uh, there's, like you say, it's, it's, it's very, very tight. Um, and I, I, I expect it to be like that um, till the end of the season. I think you've just got to concentrate on your own sort of business and, and make sure that you, uh, that you take care of that. And, and like, like we just spoke about every day in training, just keep, keep saying all the time, keep trying to improve. And, and then in the games, try and do your jobs and do the right stuff. But certainly um, the league is, is, is just, it's very, very tight. It must be encouraging for you though, to, to look at that table and know that you, you've not hit peak form yet. That gap up to the top isn't that big. No, obviously you, you wouldn't want to lose too much ground on anybody at, at any stage in the season. So yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're hanging in there. We know we've still got work to do. We need to go on a run of, of uh, results. Um, two, and, two results in the trot now, so we, uh, we continue to try and build on that. Now you've had some time to digest the past couple of games and we've seen a, a strike force that's been used for the first time this season in, in Cook and Mangan. Um, obviously you've, you've had time to look and go over the forms of for both players in the combination. You must, must be pleased because the, the, the work rate from the pair of them has been exceptional. Yeah, of course, and that, but that goes right through the whole team. They're all expected to do that. That's, that's what they have to do. There's no big part in the back for, for working hard. That's what you get paid to do. That's your job. Um, it's, it's when we come at you and we tell you you don't, you're not working hard enough that you've got a problem. So that's just an expected. You have to go out there and you have to work hard. You have to run hard for the team all over the pitch. Uh, so that's what we always expect them to do, to be fair. Uh, Dover up next to Trenton Park, making a first home game for over the week and come back with some form as well. It's never, never an easy game against Dover. They have lost some key players during the pre season. It's going to be a difficult test, isn't it? Yeah, we, we've lost. Players as well, so it's what it is what it is. We um, know you always get a tough game against uh, Dover. You know that, the, that they'll always be at the right end of the table. So you know that they're usually one of the, the competing teams to, for, for the, the places that, that give you success at the top end or the way right through. So you know it's going to be a tough game. Um, we've started preparations for it uh, already. So we know what we, we pretty much will expect to face. Um, we just have to get them to deliver now and, and be prepared for another tough game. So the fans will for get up for the fans as well this weekend? Yeah, there's a great togetherness at Tranmere now. We, um, we all come prepared to do our jobs and the fans come along to get right behind the team and make noise and make the atmosphere and help us to create some momentum in the game and players have got to play their part in that. And, um, gives us something to uh, to enjoy watching. So the, we're all, we all know that we need each other. So it's great that the situation we have at the minute, I mean, you know, to look Saturday, they turn up in the numbers like that and get right behind the team. Um, and on the Saturday before, sorry, on Monday, they turn up great numbers on the Saturday before. Um, even though we, we, we go behind the crowd rally and, and they can be every bit as satisfied as, as, as the players for the part that they played in getting us back in the game. Mitch Duggan's come into the side the last couple of games. He's kept Adam Buxton out of the side. How encouraged have you been with how he's done? He's done very well. He's, he's done very well. Um, really pleased that we're able to develop players 
at the club and then give them their opportunity and when they get their opportunity they go in and they perform well enough to stay in the team. So we, we, we want to be able to do that here. That's why we have a youth policy. We want to be able to uh, create our own players and we like in the mould that, that we would um, like to have uh, in the first team. And Mitch is, uh, Mitch is doing that at the minute. He's still got work to do and he's going to improve. But we're, but we're certainly pleased with the direction he's heading. You played in your first or a few of your first games when you, you came here and then he went out on loan. How much has he developed for that period at Warrington? I think what he has got is he's got a great mentality. He's got a great, great mentality. He's very calm. He doesn't get flustered playing in the first team, which is important because that, that can be a big development thing. But he also comes in every day with a great mentality. He wants to work hard and be good at everything that he does at every session. We fling it him. He wants to be really good. In. So he's improving all the time. So every day he, he, he's a great example to any young player of, of what you have to do to try and improve. And, how you have to listen and how you have to go and grasp or grab opportunities to further your career. In the past couple of years, like we've seen a, a change of formation back to the, the full backs and it's brought in four points in the last few games. Is that something that you're going to build on over the next few weeks and, and months? Well, I hope so. You, you, you want to get a, a shape or a formation that suits the players that you have at the club um, and then you, you try and develop that and have different variations of that when needed because you won't be able to play the same way all the time. There'll be different, every game is different as we know. But certainly um, it seems to suit us. Um, there's different games that are different formations that it comes up against and at times it can cause you problems. So we'll be prepared, hopefully we know the system well enough that we can adapt and adjust if we need to. To go to a four at the back if we need to. Um, but the players, the players are coached in that way that they they, they be prepared to do that. And that's good for you because you look at the team, Max and Mitch Dugney talking about just that, he's a, you know, naturally a sentiment, but he's the kind of player who can play at right wing back as well. You've got quite a few players who are very versatile, which, which much makes your job much easier. Yeah, we need that because we, we don't have the biggest of, of, of squads. We, we have a lot of first team players who play first team for, for, for Tramory, if you like. There isn't a lot of Outside of that, there's, there's, there's very little development players now. Um, they all can step in and, and do a job for us, and it's important that they, throughout the group, we can cover any any things that get flung at us, with injuries and suspensions, or, or changes of shape or formation, or um, trying to exploit their position with, with different players. So we've, we've got a good group in, in that way, and yeah, and Mitch certainly uh, shows that we can we've got adaptable players. Any fresh injuries ahead of the weekend? No, we're okay. Um, we're all right. Just the usual, um, the long-term injured players. Thomas started joining in certain parts of training, but he's still some weeks away. But he's moving the right direction. James Wallace has had to have another operation, so that's that's going to put him back. Um, Jay Kirby's now running. He's not joining in much yet, but he's doing some straight line running and um, some some. Moving, shifting body weight, work. so he's, they're all moving in the right direction. I know that you, as a club, aren't affected by a transfer deadline, but is there any risk of losing anyone to a football league club today? No, I don't think so. We, um, we're happy with, with, with where we're at. We, uh, we're always looking to try and improve, of course, either from within or um, recruitment that we might be able to do, but at the minute, we're pretty much up to where, where, we, where we can be, um, budget-wise. So uh, we, we've recruited, we've done recruitment in the summer and I don't expect to be, to be doing anything for, for a while yet.